Anyway, the show, uh, as Daryl mentioned, it's called uh, Totally Unprepared. Had the opportunity to help develop and host the show. Uh, we went from San Francisco to San Diego, kind of dropped in on people and families and just saw how unprepared they were. And with that, we were able to kind of highlight some of the things they can do, kind of like a before and after. Uh, you know, escape routes, extinguishers, uh, having a plan. So when we did that, it really opened up their eyes to go, wow, you know what, we really need to get it together. We need water and we need a, a real plan and we need to be prepared. I know we keep hearing that word, but it's so important. It's so important because, uh, you know, we have to rely on each other. And like I said, when the big one happens and it's, it's coming, unfortunately, we have to truly be prepared. Uh, people need to understand that when we have an earthquake, there's things we have to do. If I'm at work, uh, we've got to pull the engines out. We've got to make sure that the crew is, is safe and that those guys are solid before we can do anything. Because if an earthquake hits and we can't get our fire engines out, that's going to limit us. So what we want to do is make sure we get the fire engines out of the station, make sure all of our guys are accounted for. And then what we do typically is we assess our area, our jurisdiction. We do a rapid assessment of that. We want to hit our target hazards, schools, hospitals things of that nature and, and find out, you know, what kind of condition they're in. Any, any structures collapse, we've got any major fires, which, you know, the big one, we do anticipate having all of that. So once again, we're gonna be leaning on certain members, uh, neighborhood, families, friends, to have put in the work and to have gotten yourself prepared for that. Uh, after that assessment, we'll do another uh, assessment of our jurisdiction to find out where we need to get in there, where we need a, a fire or if we got people trapped or, or needing our assistance, uh, we'll get in there with that. And then we have to report that back to, to the battalion level uh, so that we can get out there once again and do the most we can uh, for the most of the people out there. Um, you cadets, like I said, congratulations to you guys. Uh, the things you're doing right now is important. You guys are the future. Uh, you guys are going to be taking our, our spot one day. Uh, I've been on 22 years, and uh, the time has gone by like that. So, And no, I didn't get on when I was eight years old. <laughs> So we're really going to be looking for you guys to, to come up behind us and, and, and take over and, and run, you know, run these departments. So congratulations to you guys. Well, let's see what's in your goodie bag. I can't wait to see what's in that. Well, this is my goodie bag. And by the way, this is the second time I've taken this cert class because I wanted to keep myself up to date on it. It, has, it looks like a very nice little backpack. Yeah, it looks great. Oh, that was the helmet. Oh, caution tape. That might oh. be necessary. Oh, this is great. <laughs> and what else do we have here? Well, good job. Community response. Oh, this is the best. Oh, yes, those are great. It's a green vest, and that's why you identified as a search person. But the times when I've been there for people were not times when you would put on a vest. So it looks like this. Oh, this is great. In the front, uh -huh. not too surprisingly, it says search in the back. This is great. I'm here to represent the LA County Department of Public Health. The Department of Public Health has an emergency preparedness and response program, which means that we respond and go out during any type of emergency, whether it's an earthquake or an outbreak of disease like the flu or a hazard spill or something more catastrophic like an anthrax attack or a large earthquake. So that's what we do. But one of the projects that we're working on here is a community resilience project. So we decided a long time ago with help from our federal partners that of course uh, first responders could not go it alone. So what did that mean? For a long time the message that we gave is to have stuff, have your kit, have your plan, have your list, be ready to go. But we know that it takes more than just stuff and plans to have, be prepared and have a response. It takes relationships, it takes knowing your neighbor, and that's our uh, motto, the LA um, County Department of Public Health Emergency Preparedness and Response Program outreach campaign. Our um, banner is out there where you saw the, the flashlights been giving away. Being prepared for an emergency starts with hello, and then of course emergencies do happen. So know your neighbors. That's literal, know your neighbors, but know your neighbors in general. Know the people around you in your community. Neighbors is much broader than just our literal neighbors. Being plan planning together and being ready. 
Well, very fun yeah. stuff. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. A so bar. Five bar, as they call it. <laughs> oh, like if you need to get into a door and get people out or like, uh, yeah. wow. Rachel. We have a project that's being funded by the federal government. We are trying, like I said, to move beyond this idea of just stuff and supplies and plans and get people to work together. We are working with 16 communities across Los Angeles. Um, so that first, that first thing, that first reaction that people have of being panicked and scared, how we interact with people in disasters, we tend to think of disasters as the big one, but disasters happen all the time. It's why public health is getting involved in this project. Instead of just thinking about the big one that might happen, we're thinking about disasters that happen all the time. We have a huge increase in weather-related illnesses. I was part of the windstorm and, uh, uh, two years ago, three years ago in South Pasadena. We didn't have electricity for a week. We're having lots of tornadoes. Get ready for more heat in Los Angeles. So lots of weather-related events, the fires, the drought. So this isn't just about the big one or a big terrorist event. These are about things that happen all the time and how you know that you can participate. Whether it's the big one or um, a small fire in your neighborhood, the response and the coordination and the planning you have is gonna help. There's a sense of triage that as we would identify people who have the greatest need. Yes. And you have to first of all sum up a whole situation we learn in sir, to determine who is going to be needed. Art! Excuse me, Art! Art! Okay, you good. Straight home. Stop it all. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Art, I think Okay, no speeding allowed. <laughs> Is with the police. Hi, David. Oh, hi. I'm very good. And he was present every time. We had I used to have, I had Daryl's job. Yes. I was Daryl, and then I got her, and then Daryl took over, and I became a civilian. So, you know. Wow. Are you taping this? I am doing, I do a blog, and I don't know, if, but do you want to say anything in, about CERT or? Uh, CERT is one of the best tools we have to, it is the best tool we've got to prepare everyone for an imminent disaster. And it is imminent, it's not if, it's when. It's just gonna happen. Unfortunately, that's the world we live in. Better be prepared than uh, caught flat-footed. And that's all I got for now. Well, I think it's pretty awesome. Where's your vest at? You got your vest? Yeah, you know, the vest is amazing. It glows in the dark. Doesn't oh, everyone? this is great. You look so cute in that. She looks fantastic. I love it. God, that's great. Interesting thing that we don't think of when we think of the earth shaking is that there will be a lot of dust. That's um, good. A glow stick is a very good idea. You open it and you do something to break it and apparently it glows. Yeah. It's a better thing than a flashlight which might have a small spark in the event of a gas leak. You don't want that as a spark. Fine. Oh, wow. These are goggles. I'm not going to take them out, but you can see that's what they are. That's so great. To keep the dust out. This is a oh. very official-looking flashlight, isn't it? It's wonderful. Yeah. Batteries, even. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is crayon to mark off something, I guess. Emergency survival. This is something everyone can carry. It's a mylar blanket. <laughs> You can easily carry this in the glove compartment yeah. of your car, and everyone should get a I, well, I'm, I'm going to get one. This yeah. is great. It's about six by eight feet, I imagine. It's big. It, and look at this. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, this is great. God, I love your bag. 